What's going on guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about NFL player, second year NFL player, Trevon Diggs. Now, I've watched Trevon Diggs all the way from when he was highly recruited out of high school, went to Alabama. Then he went from Alabama to getting drafted in the second round by the Dallas Cowboys. Now, he has a brother, Stephon Diggs. Excellent wide receiver. I actually did a video about him in a similar situation. He's dating one of these notable women on social media. He ended up dropping her to focus on his career. Trevon may need to do the same thing because apparently there's an Instagram model by the name of Chinese Kitty. Okay. Avoid any melanated female that calls herself Asian or Chinese anything, even though she could be part Asian. It is what it is. Apparently, she went on social media to blast him about how he's making certain threats to her. Only for his friend to come out and basically call her a liar and say that that was, in fact, her that was messaging Chinese Kitty and not Trevon. Okay. Now, this female, her name is Jada Christie, and she is a friend of Trevon. And for some reason, they were getting into it. I believe Chinese Kitty and her friends may have jumped Jada Christie. Maybe she felt some type of way about their friendship. Who knows? But apparently Jada is saying that she's the one that was blowing up Chinese Kitty's phone. And it was not trevon doing that and i can believe that because i have never heard of trevon having any issues with women his brother um, they seem like good dudes uh, you know that's a it's, a it's a football family there the digs the dig brothers but this is probably going to be a learn a le it's going to be a it's definitely going to be a life lesson for trevon because he's still a young guy well to me he's a young guy right you need to avoid dating the surgically enhanced, mentally crazy women who call themselves Instagram models. These women have nothing to offer but their bodies. They don't. This woman is making an allegation that could ruin this young man's career. And she's gonna go about life like, it's, like nothing is going on. Cause I went to her page and she's not even responding to the fact that she's being called a liar. She's just going about life like it's normal. And this is the problem. And this is why I feel like he may have dumped her. I think he got with her. He dumped her and she felt some type of way. So she wanted to lie on this guy. This is the problem with these particular type of females. And this is why no man really wants them. These guys get with them. They use them up and then they toss them to the side because they really have nothing to offer. How can you sit there and lie on this guy knowing that he was not trying to put hands on you? He was not menacing you in any way, shape or form. But here you are making up these BS lies that you got caught up in because it was actually a female who you allegedly jumped, right? Who's upset with you. And you're putting this out here. See, that's the problem. And women like this should be called out for these lies. So I want people to understand, especially Trevon, you need to avoid women like this. There's millions of women out here. You don't have to date an Instagram model. You're only in your second season in the NFL. Second season. These guys get drafted. All of a sudden, people know who they are. He plays for the Dallas Cowboys. So that's going to bring on more notoriety. You're going to get the attention you know, of these clout chasing females. And that's what seemed like happened in this particular situation. And Trevon got to be careful. 
These women don't have your best interests at heart. These women are leeches. These women use you to get themselves opportunities and notoriety for their already failed rap career. Because all of these Instagram models want to be female rappers, but a lot of them have no talent. Look at Sweetie. <laughs> I had to put that in there. But I want y'all to understand, man, she tried to ruin this man's career and nobody's saying nothing. You had another woman come out and say, hey, she's a liar. But I don't really see anybody else really speaking on this. And, and mind you, this woman apparently, I believe, is a mother. But she has no problem trying to ruin this man's career making false allegations because he dumped her i believe he dumped her that's why she's feeling some type of way he dumped her he wants nothing to do with her so she's gonna go and put up a post saying that he's menacing her and he wants to put hands on her you want to tag the cowboys and you want to tag the nfl trying to ruin this guy because he dumped because you got emotional because he doesn't want you anymore and then you're gonna go about life like nothing is going on if you're going to make allegations, you need to have proof. You need to be able to follow through. But this is what happens when you deal with these mentally unstable women. Let me tell y'all something. Most of these Instagram models are mentally unstable. They are. So I want people to listen to this and understand especially Trevon and all these other you know these these guys especially look, look at Lamelo. Lamelo's falling down that rabbit hole too of dealing with these instagram models right not really understanding that you know something can go wrong you can get unfocused look at tyler what's his name harrow he is regressing and the miami heat are really regretting not trading him, getting him out of the Miami area. Because all he's doing is 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 dealing with the, the Instagram model chick who, you know, it's you know, got with him because you know he was a guy who seemingly was up and coming, right? She thought it would be fun to get with this guy in the boat, but that's that's a whole nother story. I just want these athletes to understand that you can't let these women get you unfocused. And that's what's going on. That is what's going on. This female has a son who she has all over social media uh, and gave him an Instagram account. How would she like it if one of these clout chasing Instagram heifers went and accused him of doing what you accused Trevon of doing? But we all know that Chinese Kitty likes to fib and try to make things up because rapper Lil TJ put it out there a while back that he smashed her in front of her son. And then she tried to get on social media and act like she didn't do it. So we already know that this female is not the most honest person in the world. We know that she's willing to go to, to links to lie and make things up. So I believe Lil TJ now. I believe Lil TJ smashed her in front of her son, unfortunately. Because if she's out here lying on Trevon blatantly and you have this other girl coming out saying, hey, this is Cap, this is not true, this that was me getting at her, and then she's she not even responding, she's going about life like ain't nothing going on, this is the type of women that guys like Trevon need to avoid. These women are no good. They are destroyers of anything they come across. That's why the, the father of her son ain't there. Because she is so much, she's so deeply embedded in the streets that she's out here making claims, blaming people for the things that she is doing herself. She hasn't even responded to the fact that she's out here lying or she's being called out for lying. She's going about life like ain't nothing going, like it was funny to try to ruin this man's career. <clears throat> these are the type of women you dudes need to be careful about, especially these young NBA players like LaMelo Ball and some of these other guys who are going to get drafted this year. You got the NFL players that's going to be drafted 
later on this month. Uh, I believe it's I believe it's this month or next month. And then you got the NBA player, the, the college basketball players that are going to be drafted in the summer. Be careful, man. St uh, Trevon Diggs is in his second year, and he is being accused of trying to do harm to this to this female, who apparently he wasn't. So you definitely need to be careful of the type of women that you you come across, because if you have something to lose because they really don't have anything to lose they will try to destroy you 